welcome back to CAD CAM tutorial today we are going to create this simple 3d model in SOLIDWORKS and we will use feature tools like extruded boss base and uh, swift boss base and create this simple model in SOLIDWORKS so let's start to see how to make this model and uh, with the help of SOLIDWORKS tools and we will learn some fe features now here let's start to create exercise number 94 so let's open file new and choose your part if you go to advance even the same thing parts assembly drawing but we will keep part okay now here we will do some little basic settings like uh, i'll change background and a unit millimeter just click this drop down menu and you will find millimeter inches i'll keep millimeter gram second okay now we are going to make a simple exercise so we don't have drawing but we will do it now here first option the uh, operation we will perform extruded boss base either choose any plane directly or you can simply select extruded boss base once you select extruded boss base it will ask you which plane do you like to keep so i'll select front plane now let me start with line select line and draw a random geometry now let me draw one more one more shape make sure all the lines are horizontal trim entity just click power trim hold your left mouse and drag see it's trimmed okay now here we will create some relation i'll choose these two lines equal relation okay now here also the same these two lines equal relation center line and i will connect this set origin uh, midpoint this is the midpoint connect to this line and the midpoint for this sketch now here create one relation first relation vertical second relation horizontal okay now let's adjust our drawing drag it okay now here we need to create one more relation this line hold shift key this line equal that's it a smart dimension and define the first dimension 20 80 millimeter 20 millimeter see if you saw this distance by default it is 30 millimeter okay so this is your main distance because we already defined all the relations now simply exit once you click exit it will ask you for extrude the body now see here end condition keep 5 millimeter and here end condition we will keep blind a uh, mid plane so that it will moves in both side you will see the thickness is going to extrude in both side 2.5 one side 2.5 millimeter in other side okay now we will make next we will make one more parts top plane a sketch normal now here also we will create the same sketch trim entity just power trim and move your left cursor and you will trim it now let me create some relation select these two lines equal here also these two lines equal and these two lines equal relation that's it center line if you move your cursor you will find a midpoint select this midpoint connect to this line and keep your cursor midpoint of this line select vertical now here also horizontal that's it now it's time to define define choose the smart dimension and define our dimensions 80 millimeter and this is 20 millimeter and no more defined anything because we already defined the relations extruded boss base 
and this time also we will use the same technique end condition mid plane 5 mm now now we want to connect with this so how we will connect this i'll choose this face a sketch this is the first extruded body either you you will see normal view now select this face or either you can create rectangle it's up to you click convert entity now see a rectangle created on this plane with the help of this tapered face exit now we want to create a path to connect from here to here so sketch 1 show sketch 2 show okay now which plane do you like to go right hand side right plane actually this is the right plane the sketch line draw one line up to here go back to the point and see it will automatically convert into arc here here now make relation this line horizontal this point tangent here also this point tangent now we need to create some relations now the first relation select this point hold shift key and this point go inside okay now the same thing with this body this point hold shift key this point go inside now define any one dimension Fifteen millimeter. See, this is right. If we saw normal view, see, this is like this. Exit. Now, we will use swift boss base command and complete this path. A sketch profile. First, we need to choose profile. So, I'll choose this profile. Okay. Now, we need to choose path. So, I'll select this path. Now, you will see here. just drop down the menu and here you will find one option align with end faces and here you will see three options one direction direction two and mid direction by direction so keep by direction so that it will moves in both side you will see here that's it this is how we connect a path now right plane is sketch normal now let's complete the third one on right plane make sure it is vertical this should be horizontal trim entity let's trim okay now first relation equal now here also the second relation equal now the third relation hold shift key equal center line i'll find the center point for this connect to origin point and connect to this midpoint not center point it's midpoint first relation vertical second relation select the line construction line horizontal okay it's time to define 80 mm 20 mm now see drawing is fully defined exit extruded boss base same end condition mid plane and thickness is 5 mm okay now 
so this time we will connect from here to this wall so i'll select this face sketch if we saw normal view it is like this see so do one thing select this face you will see click convert entity and you will get a rectangle see exit make sure we perform this operation on extruded body 2 okay now let's come to the extruded body 3 this is extruded body 3 sketch 5 show front plane sketch line now we need to connect from here to here select the line go back to the point tangent this point also tangent select both the vertical and horizontal line make relation equal now main relation 15 millimeter the main distance and here we need to define now select this is the center point for this line hold shift key and this point here define coincide okay now here already it's defined this point so select isometric view see we are going to create relation between extruded body part 2 and part 3 swift boss base now first we need to choose profile so this is the profile okay second path i'll choose this path now here it will ask you one direction two direction or by direction keep by direction option go to option and choose here align with end faces see that's it now now it's time to connect from first body to third body first body sketch select the bottom face convert entity now see a rectangle is converted now what operation going to perform here top plane just let me check where we are going to perform okay from here to here line now I start from draw a line go back to point and see it will automatically convert into arc let's correct it tangent choose line and make vertical this is already horizontal so let me choose these two lines equal relation okay first we will create some basic relations okay for this line hold shift key and select these two points create relation tangent okay now come to the other end this point and this point the smart dimension and defined any one dimension because we already defined features isometric view now you will see we created a path between extruded body 1 and 3 now the same relation swift boss base command we are going to use now here automatically selected because we already choose body here make sure bi-directional aligned with end faces okay now let me hide all the sketches that's it see this is the simple 3d 
modeling we did in SOLIDWORKS and here we learned basic features like extruded boss base, revolved boss base, uh, swept boss base. I hope you like it. Don't forget to share and like our video and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in SOLIDWORKS. Thanks for watching.